So a lot of people actually don't realize this, and that's the fact that you can actually customize your layout here on TradingView, and you don't need to stick with the basic layout that's already provided to you. Right now, here is the home page of TradingView, and if I was to click on the S&P 500, and I was to click on the See More on the advanced chart, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a layout that looks something like this. Now, actually, I would highly recommend, especially if you're going to use TradingView to actually execute trades that you do customize your layout so that it fits your needs and that you can jump on here and then within seconds have everything at your fingertips that you need to execute your trades if you need to at that time. Now, if you wanna learn how you can connect your brokers to TradingView, we've already got some videos here on the TC Trading channel. They'll show you how to go ahead and do that. This video will now be covering how to customize your layout. So right now at the top, you see how it says main layout. For me, if I were to go to that drop down menu, right, and I was to go to new layout, we're gonna have a fresh clean slate to start from. And what you're gonna notice is that it's actually quite similar because I haven't really done too much to customize my layout. But in this video, we're going to do exactly that. And we're going to customize my layout as if I was going to be trading the micro e-mini futures right here on the NASDAQ. So on the right-hand side, this is where you're going to find a lot of the goodies. So if I'm gonna be trading, what I wanna be able to see is number one, my watch list. So I wanna have my watch list pulled up. I can resize this as I see fit, but number one, I want that, right? The second thing I want is I want to have an order entry panel. For me, I'm going to go ahead with the DOM, the depth of market. It's going to be able to show me where buyers and sellers are stacking up on the bid and ask at different price points. And I like to use this to execute my order. So for example, if I wanted to get in and I can set a bid price right here, you'll see that it'll pop right up once I log into my account, just like that. So there's my buy limit. It is now set and I can adjust this as I see fit if I want to that. We're kind of coiling up. So to be honest, I'm not really too interested right here. Until we get a break of a trend in either direction, I'm gonna get rid of this and click on the X to cancel that order. So now what I've got is I've got my depth of market right here. I've got my watch list right here. If I wanna resize it for my screen, you definitely you know, should do that. I recommend doing that. And then if you wanna have an order entry panel as well, you can also add that as well. So for example, here's just the regular trade order entry, the order panel, as they say. And from here, you can have your take profits, your stop losses set, all that good stuff. No matter if you're buying or selling and you can have market orders go through, stop loss, everything is gonna be done within seconds here on the order entry panel. Now let's say that I wanted to edit things on my charts or I wanted to add different indicators. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go to the indicators tab right here and I'm going to now start to add in my indicators. If you look on the top left, you're not gonna see anything. You're gonna see volume, okay? So that's the only thing that we have, right? That's gonna be preloaded in. If I wanna click on the eye emoji or the eye icon here, that'll hide the volume. Uh, sometimes I actually like doing that, especially when volume's not a problem or volume's not an issue with my trade for whatever specific stock. If I know there's plenty of volume, then I'll just hide this because sometimes I can see the chart, I can see the price action a little bit better if I go ahead and do that. But if I don't, I need to have more indicators potentially. Maybe you're just a price action trader. That's fine. But just go in, go in here, add your indicators that you want. For example, let's go ahead and add the VWAP indicator, the volume weighted average price. Let's add that guy in. Now you'll see the VWAP pops up inside of my now drop down the top left, we'll have this option here. It'll have volume and view up. All my indicators will now pop up here. If I want to edit them, I'll go to the little settings icon and I'll go ahead and edit them. For example, I don't like the upper bands. I don't like the lower bands, screw the bands. I just want the VWAP, right? I just want that one simple line across my screen. I'm gonna go ahead and customize this, by the way, just so I can make the line. I like looking at white if I have a dark background. I like to make this line a little bit thicker just so it's a little bit easier to see and uh, not as uh, thin because sometimes you're using a thin VWAP but you can see a lot of wicks through it. You're gonna have a lot less wicks going through the thicker that line is. So that'll be what I like to do. Click on okay, now it's set, okay? Let's say you go ahead and you load this bad boy up with everything that you want, right? All the indicators that you want, your different widgets, your trade options, all that good stuff. You have it set up. Maybe you want to have a different template. You want to add different candlestick patterns. Maybe you want to add different time frames up here that you like. You can star the time frames and the, and the, the times of the charts that you want. Once you have everything that you want on your trading view layout, then you'll go up into the top right, see where it says unnamed. Let's go ahead and select, or let's go rename this, by the way. So drop down menu. Let's go see where it says unnamed right here. Let's go rename, and let's go with, I'll just go test. 
because what I got on my other one is fine. I have it set as the main layout. I'm gonna go to test, and now we've got our layout. Say I wanna to go to a different layout, drop down menu, let's go to the main layout, pop it back on up, and what are we gonna get? Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna have our main layout right in here that we want to use. Now, when it comes to these layouts, understand that this can be moved around. You can have all of your stuff popping up. On the right-hand side, the watch list, all of these different things, this is stuff that you can easily hide, you can X out of, and you can easily add from the right-hand side, that kind of bar on the right-hand side. This is gonna pop everything up. So what you're really customizing here at the end of the day is you're customizing your indicators, you're customizing your charts, you're customizing what you see right in front of you. So it's not as much of a customization as let's say, you know, a Webull or a TD Ameritrade or let's say an E-Trade, whatever other platforms you use for active trading, you're not able to make the types of customizations there because everything that you kind of need is already here at your disposal. All you gotta do is click it, click on it and it'll pop it through and you'll have access to essentially whatever you need. So that's something to keep in mind. There's not really too, too much to it at the end of the day when it comes to building out a layout that works for you. So bread and butter, top right, drop down menu right here. I have it set to auto save as well. Uh, if I didn't have that, then when I make a change, it's not going to save until I actually go ahead and save it. I can have, I can actually export stuff. I can rename, make a copy of these layouts, do whatever I want, share it if I would like to. And it's all gonna be right in here on TradingView. If you got any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. Be happy to talk in further detail. This is the TC Trading Channel. We make videos just like this, short, simple tutorials that are going to help you and your trading and investing in the stock market. Thanks so much for watching. Any links and resources are down below. TradingView, if you want a new broker, interactive brokers can connect right into TradingView. Those links will be down below as well as a bunch of other great stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.